Sobel House, Liz Beacon, how can I help you? Sir Michael Sobel House, locally known as Sobel House, was originally funded by a donation made by Sir Michael Sobel in 1972. Dr Alistair Lang, radiologist, was part of the original planning team. The National Society felt that it could meet the needs because of other desperate requirements, but he offered to donate a sum of money through the National Society to the Oxford region to build a hospice in Oxford. In response to the need to update the original building, Sebel House Hospice Charity successfully raised the funds to build the new hospice with contemporary facilities and light, spacious rooms. This opened in 2003. The hospice itself is at the heart of the many services provided by Sobel House to the community. Sir Michael Sobel House is a specialist palliative care unit. And what that means is that it specialises in the care of those people who are dying and who are very poorly before their death and the care of their families. It looks at their physical needs and their psychological needs. And the staff who work here have considerable experience in the care of patients and also many have extensive and considerable training in this area. The hospice has many departments. It has an inpatient unit with 18 beds where people can come if they need um, help with their symptoms or that they need a period of respite or perhaps some procedures. In addition to this inpatient unit, it also has a day hospice where patients can come for the day. And in addition to those, it has a community team who help manage patients' problems in their own homes. And it has a hospital team which help manage patients' problems in the wards within the hospital, or indeed sometimes in other trusts in the area. And you will hear a little bit more about these people and the departments in which they work as you watch this video. The day centre offers medical and nursing assessment and support. Alongside this, it also offers patients and their families the opportunity to engage in a wide range of creative activities. Psychological support, such as music and art therapy, are also available, as well as a choice of complementary therapies. All of these services are provided free and are delivered by professionally qualified staff. Day Centre provides a, a space for patients to come, to get away from their home environment, to come somewhere different, and to be supported medically, spiritually, socially, in any way we can, to benefit and enhance their quality of life. Some days you go, some days you stop. Patients some really look forward to coming to the day centre. It's a place where everyone can be involved. Doctors came here one day to see what went on in the British hospice. And they came into the door and they had their folders and long faces. We were having a sing song. And it sounded like Friday night in the pub. <laughs> and they stood there and their jaws dropped. And they started to write notes. And they looked from one to the other. And there were the patients singing away merrily. You know. If I was starved, some days my guts growled, it's terribly hard. But, you know, they were expecting it to, to be depressing and miserable. It isn't. Sobel House currently benefits from the support of over 130 volunteers with ages ranging from teenagers to octogenarians. There are many areas in which volunteers can be involved, including providing practical care for patients, helping with psychological support, pastoral care, or as a member of the bereavement support team. People in here are wonderful, honestly. They are really, you would have never thought volunteers would be so marvellous and the nurses as well. But they're helpful in the respect that they can talk, that they're willing to talk things over with you. Ah, oh, they're marvellous. Yeah, marvellous. Can't do enough for you. The atmosphere that is created between the patients and the volunteers is such a good, um, friendly vibe. These daily things that happen, like um, a cheeky drink that all the patients get given at half eleven in the morning, which is quite nice. It's just such a great place to be. I think quality of the volunteers we have here are wonderful. 
Patients who attend our day centre can either make their own transport arrangements or take advantage of our volunteer transport service to and from their homes. Patients at Sobel House, whether inpatients or day centre visitors, can enjoy the freshly prepared meals which are cooked on the premises every day. Our kitchen staff are able to cater for special dietary requirements and will also help provide treats for special celebrations. These are some of the many services available to those attending Sir Michael Sobel House. 